I love videos like this. I just love talking about technology with you guys. Hello guys, who are you? David DeFranco here from DavidDeFranco.com. It has been a long time since I made a tech haul video. Seriously, it's been a long freaking time. And I mean, come on, it's not like I haven't gotten new technology, it's just I've been making other video ideas, been busy with projects, all that stuff. So I figured it's tech haul time. And for those who don't know what David's tech haul is, it's basically what it sounds like. It's my chance to talk about my latest tech purchases and tech acquisitions. Acquisition, man, what a great word. So starting out, let's talk about this. This is the Case Crown Standby Pro. It's a case for the 9.7 inch iPad Pro. First of all, shout out to Case Crown for hooking me up with this. I really, really appreciate it. I'm using a custom white balance. I'm gonna have to adjust this. Hopefully it looks good in post. Anyway, this is a pretty standard case. I mean, if you're into the whole folio thing, it's pretty nice. Boom, you got front and rear protection. You got your cutout for the camera. And of course you can stand it up in two orientations like this. It's a little tough to get in the slit, but there you go. Boom. It works as advertised. Then of course you want to go for a steeper angle. No, less steep angle. Then you put it in the higher one and that's more like your typing angle. Let me put this over here. Bada bing, bada boom, you can type. All right, so talking about features that are more unique to this case when compared to other cases, because let's face it, most cases have that feature. Number one, this case does indeed have two cutouts for the True Tone sensors, which I think is pretty cool. And number two, this is definitely very cool. I showed this in the weekend vlog. And if you haven't seen that yet, check it out right below in the video description. Close the case, right? Boom. Included with the case is this, an Apple pencil holder. And it's magnetic, check it out. Boom! Isn't that awesome? So now I can conveniently bring my Apple Pencil around with my 9.7 inch iPad Pro. And of course, easy to remove. Boom, easy to put in. By the way, quick tip, and I'll talk about this in my review in just a couple days, or a few days, whatever. So I shouldn't swing this at you. Do not, I repeat, do not put the pencil in backwards. Because this cap is indeed magnetic and it will get stuck inside this little leather sleeve. Don't ask me how I know. Let's just say that. Anyway, great case. Not perfect though, of which I will talk about in my review, but overall pretty decent and filled with convenience. So speaking of Case Crown, let's keep on talking about Case Crown because the second product I wanna talk about is this a 13 inch campus sleeve for the 13 inch MacBook Pro. This is as basic as it gets for portable cases, if you wanna call them that, for your notebook. Look, there's nothing to it. No pouches, nothing. However, what makes this sleeve unique is that. You see that? They specifically designed this sleeve so you can charge your notebook without having to take it out of the sleeve itself. And that right there, in my opinion, is genius. Guys, I'm telling you, it's the simplest ideas that are the best. So check it out. I have my charger here. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. Boom. Now, provided this was plugged in, my MacBook Pro would be charging right now. Again, without having to even take my notebook out. And I think that's pretty cool. And yes, there have been times where my notebook has been in my other bag and I'm like, I gotta take it out, plug it in, boom. I know, I know, that sounds like a laziness thing. When, I mean, it kind of is, but in my eyes, it's all about convenience. And plus, come on, it looks nice. And if anything, this actually reminds me of the original MacBook Air promo ad that Apple had. Remember with the little, uh, the sleeve that they slid the MacBook Pro in? I mean, the MacBook Air? I don't know, I just thought that was pretty cool, and this definitely made me think of that. And by the way, down here, you do have the little Case Crown logo, which is neat. So there you go, two plugs for Case Crown. You guys can find both those products right below. Okay, let's talk gaming, shall we? Because I love me some video games. First in the series for me, Ratchet and Clank for the PlayStation 4. 
I have never owned a Ratchet and Clank game. Seriously, I just never have. It's one of those series that I've never really touched. However, I may have played a demo a while ago, either of this or Jack and Daxter. I've always related the two, I'm not sure why. Well, I guess because they're platformers, but different companies. Isn't Jack and Daxter made by Naughty Dog? I'm pretty sure it is. But anyway, talking about Ratchet and Clank, I am not disappointed one bit. This game is phenomenal. Okay, so I put a few hours into this last night and I am just loving it. Seriously, it's that good. This is what a quality experience should be like. It is solid as hell in terms of a platformer. The soundtrack is amazing. The characters are very likable. The comedy is there. Guys, I've actually laughed out loud quite a few times already. Just like I said for Sunset Overdrive, I don't laugh that often in games. I mean, movies I do all the time, but games, there's a certain disconnect with humor. But Sunset Overdrive and Ratchet and Clank are two great examples of games that can not only be a high quality experience, but very funny as well. Check this out. Oh, and by the way, so much chaos goes on on screen, yet it doesn't drop a frame. Well, at least from what I can tell. Still though, incredibly solid. Definitely check it out. And guys, by the way, this costs just $34 for Amazon Prime users. So you have no excuse to not get this. Unless you don't own a PS4, then that's a pretty legit excuse, as I hit the desk. But cool, great game. I don't want to talk about it too much because I have another game to talk about. Yes, I got The Division. Huge shout out to Alex Smith. He was very nice enough to surprise me with this. I mean, guys, I did not expect this at all. I opened the box thinking it was Ratchet and Clank because they happened to come both yesterday, but I saw this instead. I was like, are you kidding me? The Division. So Alec, if you're watching, dude, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. This is a game that I've been meaning to buy for a little while now, as you guys know, but then I found out about Ratchet and Clank. I'm like, well, I'm gonna get this first. And honestly, I was going to buy this eventually, but Alec was nuts enough to beat me to the punch. So with that said, I still plan on putting this on hold just for a little bit, but only because I wanna get through Ratchet and Clank first. This is a big deal to me, and I wanna appreciate every minute of it. And plus, I've been playing a lot of Rainbow Six Siege on my Xbox One, I almost threw this. So I'm kind of getting my Tom Clancy fix as it is, but when I do finish Ratchet and Clank, you have my word, I will jump into this because I'm very excited to see what all the hype is about. So guys, let me know, are you enjoying The Division? Comment right below, I'm interested. As well as Ratchet and Clank. Are you a fan? Are you not? Or do you just not care? All right, there you go. You guys can find all these products right below on both Amazon and davidsthings.com. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.